What we have learned in 2020 is that developing our immune system and living a healthy lifestyle is essential to a happier, more confident life. Health is wealth. Health could not be more valuable than these times. That's why it's important to talk about this topic. In this video, I'm gonna tell you five habits you should start doing in 2021 to live a healthier life. What's up guys, it's Adam from GymnasticsMethod.com. If you want to see more videos about bodyweight training and lifestyle, please subscribe and click on the bell. Thank you. So you maybe or maybe not heard about the following tips before. They will sound really simple and maybe obvious, but the truth is that most people don't apply them at all. However, if they did so, their life quality would be much better. Before we start, the first and one of the most important steps is to make a quick reality check on yourself. So I suggest as we go with the tips, write them down or just put a check mark in mind to each tip so you can see that you already use them or not. If you're already applying them, you're on the right track. If not, you should start adding them to your daily routine. You may have heard that it usually takes 21 days to form a habit. If you pay attention to what you do for so much time, it becomes a habit and from then on, they become the part of your daily routine. All right, now you know the basics, let's get right into it. First, breathe through your nose. Wait, what? Yes, you heard it right. It matters if you breathe through your nose or mouth. Mouth breathing is not healthy in the long run. I'm talking about breathing in everyday life, not while exercising. You may breathe through your mouth during your workout, but you should strive for nose breathing there as well. Breathing is a fundamental life function and it's meant to be through your nose. Your nose is the primary organ for breathing. It filters air and makes it humid. Through your nose, you can get the right amount of oxygen you need. I'm still talking about normal breathing. Breathing while you're sitting in your car, watching this video or sleeping at night. For some people it's obvious and evident, but there are so-called mouth breathers. If you constantly breathe through your mouth, you fundamentally change your metabolism the wrong way. Your oxygen and carbon dioxide metabolism will be changed, leading to other metabolic disorders. Just think about it. If this basic metabolism is changed, what do you expect, for instance, if you want to lose weight or want to be more energetic? This topic is very deep and complex, and if you're interested, I'll talk about it more on gymnasticsmethod.com. But at the end of the day, the point is that breathe through your nose as much as you can. That also starts with self-monitoring, pay attention if your mouth is open, close it and change to your nose. Nose breathing can literally change your face. Mouth breathers usually have tired eyes, crooked nose, receding chin and bad posture. Just look around in the store or on the street and you'll start recognizing how many people have this problem. So once again, monitor yourself, breathe on your nose consciously, it will help you to be in the moment as well and be healthier. 2. Improve sleep quality. Sleep quality is extremely important to be healthy. The need for sleep time is different for everyone. Some people are fine with 5 to 6 hours of sleep, others need 8 to 9 hours a night. Obviously, you can schedule your everyday tasks to have a nice sleep during the night. However, even if it's difficult sometimes to get the right amount of sleep, you can still improve the quality of it. Let's see some tips that matters and can improve your sleep quality. Increase bright light exposure during the day. Which means, if you can spend more time outdoors or you can let in more sunshine in the room, that helps to have a better sleep at night. Reduce blue light exposure in the evening. Blue light reduces hormones like melatonin, which helps you to have better sleep and a healthy circadian rhythm. Our smartphones, laptops and TV screens have blue light, so the best thing you can do is to avoid their use before going to bed. Some alternative solutions are blue light blocking screen protectors, glasses or apps. Don't drink caffeine later during the day. Caffeine can stay in your blood for 6 to 8 hours, which can be the reason why you can't fall asleep. Don't drink alcohol before bed either, because that can also reduce melatonin and lead to disrupted sleep patterns. Choose a good mattress or mattress topper. From my experiences, even a good mattress topper can be a game changer. Try out more mattresses and toppers before you buy one and choose the most comfortable for you. Comfy sleep is everything. Don't eat too much or heavy before bedtime. I guess everyone experienced uncomfortable sleep or could not fall asleep because of overeating. Try to avoid big portions or heavy dishes before you go to bed. Set up a good temperature for sleep. For most people, between 70 and 76 degrees is the right temperature to have a good sleep. 
These are the main considerations if you want to improve the quality of your sleep. If you want to learn more about that, click the link below and become a member on gymnasticsmethod.com. 3. Go out to the sun daily. Daily sun exposure is one of the most underestimated things if we talk about health these days. Your body can produce vitamin D naturally if your skin is exposed to sunlight. If vitamin D level is right in your blood, you will be much healthier. Even if it's winter and only your face and arms are exposed to the sun, it helps a lot to your immune system, you can sleep better, your mood can improve, etc. This way, you probably can't get enough sunlight to produce a lot of vitamin D, but you can still use supplements as well. Bottom line is, be in the sun as much as possible, especially in the morning. But of course, avoid to get sunburned. When the summer comes, you'll have time to prepare. 4. Eat less processed food. Processed food is notoriously not good for health. I don't think I need to convince anyone about that, yet many people consume them. If you eat in restaurants, avoid fast food restaurants and choose healthier ones. If you order food, you already have plenty of healthy options to choose from, start using them. And if you cook, the best I can recommend is to buy food that don't have ingredients label. So just be simple. Vegetables, meat, eggs, rice, potato, etc. There are plenty of healthy, delicious and cheap dishes you can make in no time at home. If you need grocery lists and easy to make recipes, click the link below and join gymnasticsmethod.com. If I can cook my meal, you can cook yours too. 5. Do strength training regularly. If you follow this channel and work out regularly, this message is not for you. You're on the right track and congrats for that. But if you're new and you don't or barely work out, the best habit you can build in 2021 is to work out regularly. And if you do so, I recommend to start with bodyweight strength training. Strength training has several benefits, whether it's with bodyweight or weights, but if you start with bodyweight strength training, you can build a great body awareness, you will be able to actually use your body as it originally intended, build movement patterns and a good foundation for any sports you may try later. You don't need to think any crazy. Two or three sessions a week is a good start, works in the long run, and you can achieve amazing results with only this much workout. That's my personal experience too. I worked out three times a week for years and achieved all the strength skills I know today. So if you want to do the same, save years of trying and experimenting, I can show you the method, tested and proven by thousands of people. All you need to do is to click the link below. All right guys, I'm sharing five extra tips that you should add to your lifestyle to live healthier and happier. Click the link in the description and get started right now on gymnasticsmethod.com. Okay, so these were my habit recommendations, what I think you should start doing in 2021 if you haven't already. I hope you found them helpful and they helped you to realize if you miss something from your daily routine that can improve your life quality. Like, share and subscribe if you haven't already, click on the bell for notifications. I wish you a happy and successful new year and see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.